This is lesson 1.1, Variables and Expressions. Your objectives are to write verbal expressions for algebraic expressions and to write algebraic expressions for verbal expressions. Write verbal expressions. An algebraic expression consists of one or more numbers and variables along with one or more arithmetic operations. In algebra, variables are symbols used to represent unspecified numbers or values. Any letter may be used as a variable. So an algebraic expression looks like math, numbers and variables, for example, n cubed minus 12n. A verbal expression looks like a sentence with words written out, like this, the difference of n cubed and 12 times m. Take a minute to write this chart out because this tells you what verbal phrases are used with each mathematical operation, with addition, added to, the sum of, and so on, subtraction, minus, the difference of, and so on, multiplication, times, multiplied by, even the word of for multiplication, division, divided by, the quotient of. Notice, however, more than means addition, is more than is the greater than symbol and less than means subtraction is less than is the less than symbol we will not be using the less than symbol and the greater than symbol we will only be doing addition and subtraction write a verbal expression for each algebraic expression question a 6n squared well what we have here is 6 and an n squared, and those are being multiplied together. So for multiply, they said the product of, and what are they taking the product of? 6 and n squared. Remember, there are other ways to write these. This is just one way to do it. Example B, n cubed minus 12m. Well, since we have subtraction, you could say the difference of, and what are you taking the difference of? n cubed and 12 times m. Remember, there are other ways to write this. This is just one way. Write a verbal expression for each algebraic expression. Number one, w minus one. Well, you can be simple or you can be elaborate. We could make this one as simple as saying w minus one. You could also say the difference of w and one. You might say one less than w. Number two, I need something to represent one-third, something to represent times, and something to represent a cubed. For the multiplying, I could say the product of, what am I multiplying? One-third and a cubed. Number three, 81 plus 2x. I've got an 81 addition, a 2, multiplication, and an x. How about 81 plus the product of 2 and x? Number 4, 12d. That's 12 multiplied by d. So you could say simply 12 times d. As you're doing these, you might find it easiest just to say them out loud. And however you say them out loud, that's what you would say. Number five, eight to the fourth power. Well, that's just eight to the fourth power. You could write it exactly like that. Number six, we have six to the second power. Or you could even say, 6 squared. 
Say it out loud. And whatever you say out loud, that's what your answer would be. Number seven, two n squared plus four. Well, I have a sum of two things here. What am I adding together? I'm adding the two n squared and the four. So I could say the sum of two times n squared and four. Number eight, a cubed times b cubed. I can write it just like that, a cubed times b cubed. Number nine, two x cubed minus three. I can say it almost like that, two times x cubed minus three. Number 10, 6k cubed divided by 5. Here I'm dividing, so I can say the quotient of, what am I dividing? 6 times k cubed and 5. Number 11, 1 fourth b squared. Notice we don't always say the times when we read it like that. When you write your sentence out, make sure you say the times, one-fourth times b squared. Number 12, 7 n to the fifth power. Well, that's 7 times n to the fifth power. Remember again to say times when you multiply. Number 13, 3x plus 4. It sounds simple when you say it, and you could write it something like that, but let's do one a little more complicated. Another way to say that you're adding 4 is to say 4 more than. It's 4 more than what? The product of 3 and x. Remember, there are lots of ways to write these. You choose what is best for you. Number 14, 2 thirds times k to the fifth power. You can say it just like that. 2 thirds times k to the fifth power. Number 15, 3b squared plus 2a cubed. You can write it almost exactly like that. 3 times b squared plus 2 times a cubed. Number 16, 4 times the quantity, n squared plus 1. Notice, you have two chunks here that are multiplied with the parentheses there, so you need to be careful in your phrasing. Since the two pieces are being multiplied, we will say the product of, and what's being multiplied? I write the bigger one first, n squared plus 1 and 4. Write algebraic expressions. Translating verbal expressions into algebraic expressions is an important algebraic skill. We're doing what we did in the last section in the opposite order. Before we were given an algebraic expression and we wrote a verbal sentence, now we're given a verbal sentence and we write the algebraic expression. Write an algebraic expression for each verbal expression. Four more than a number n. We'll break it down. We have the number 4, we have more than, and we have a number n. 4 is the number 4, more than implies addition, and n is the variable n. So you get 4 plus n. B, the difference of a number squared and 8. Difference is subtracting. A number squared could be n squared, and 8 is the number 8. So you get n squared minus 8. 
when you're subtracting whatever they say the difference of, the first thing they say is what comes first, and the second thing is what's being subtracted. Also, when it says a number and it doesn't give a variable, you choose what letter you want to use. Write an algebraic expression for each verbal expression. Number one, a number decreased by eight. Well, a number can be in. Decreased by is subtracting, and eight is simply eight. So n minus eight is your answer. Number two, a number divided by eight. Well, a number could be x divided by is division, and we can make that a fraction style, and eight is eight. Number three, a number squared. A number could be the variable b. Squared is to the second power. Number four, four times a number. Four is simply four, times is multiply, and for a number we could be the letter n. Number five, a number divided by six. A number could be t, divided by is division, and then it's divided by six, t over six. Number six, a number multiplied by 37. That would be 37 times a, or any other letter. It's being multiplied. Number seven, the sum of nine in a number. Nine is nine, the sum is plus, and a number could be m. Number eight, three less than five times a number. Less than is subtraction. And it's three less than, so we're subtracting three from something. What are we subtracting it from? Five times a number. So you could say 5x, 5x minus three. Notice, three less than five times a number. The three goes after the subtraction. Number nine, twice the sum of 15 and a number. Twice is two times something, and it's the sum of things. What is it the sum of? 15 and a number. So 2 times the quantity, 15 plus p. Number 10, 1 half the square of b. 1 half, and you can just say b squared. Since that one said the square of b, then we definitely have to use the variable b. Number 11, Seven more than the product of six and a number. Seven more than means you're adding seven. What are you adding seven to? The product of six and a number. So that will be six times a number, and we can use the variable x. Number 12, 30 increased by three times the square of a number. 30 increased by is 30 plus What's adding to it? Three times the square of a number. Three times a number squared, and you can use the variable c. So for all of these, no matter which direction you're going, pay close attention to the language. Use the correct arithmetic operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, and give it the correct phrase, and vice versa. Be careful with the more complicated ones, and remember less than is subtracting, but if it says is less than, then that's the less than symbol, which we don't use yet.